All right, so uh, let's get started. First, you wanna make sure that the tire that you have is the proper tire for the wheel. These are four and a half inch wheels on the front, so it gets the small tire. Then you wanna lead the tire up very well with your soap Windex solution. You can use straight soap if you want to. Then what you wanna do, you wanna to try to put the, the tire on in a slight angle. This side of the tire touching the ground and then just walk the tire on all the way around, keeping this hand as firm as you can so the bead won't slip around. You may have to switch it back and forth. And then there goes our first bead, our first bead is on. It hit through the drop center of the wheel, allowed it to uh, be able to be walked on. The second bead is gonna be a little bit harder. Now you can use your feet, a pry bar, not to damage your wheel, but I usually can walk them on with my feet, just like I did with my hands. I've done this all day long when I was in the tire business and the power went off. Airing them up was a little tough back then with no power. I'm trying to do this without tools. If I had a tool, a screwdriver, a wooden stick, something that you would put in the bead right here and flip over, it would already be on. But this is showing you how to do it. Stuck on the side of the road. Out in the middle of nowhere. And voila. All we gotta do now is air it up. So there you go. Nowadays, that just saved about $15. Still gotta get it balanced, but at least you can air it up and get your car down to the tire store if you changed your lug pattern to five lug wheels. Good thing is if you buy tires and wheels online or some of these places, they will mount and balance them for free, but you need to make sure that they fit your vehicle because they will not take them back. In this case, we used a set of Porsche wheels and some new tires. And I've done this plenty of times, so I didn't have any problem test fitting everything. So let's get this other one done, get it aired up, and we'll get the front end on the ground. And then we'll go back and do the rear five lug conversion on the Super Beetle. Stay tuned.